Hello, welcome back to The Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Fallen Enchantress. This is the Triple P series, and we're, we're doing okay-ish. It's, it's fine. We lost a few troops overall, but I mean, yeah, it's not too bad. We're going to find another one of these guys just because they're there. They seem to just want to be annoying, so we're going to be annoying too, because why not? Alright, so he can get close, but not super close. Alright, just gonna chill there. Yeah. I guess she can shoot him. Boom. Alright, this might just flat out kill him. We'll see. Oh, that's like the first guy who's actually survived his onslaught. That's mildly impressive. He did. He did not live through it. I am sorry. I feel like we could almost take care of business there, but probably not. Hey, there's wolves and other horrible creatures and things over here. Well, that's interesting. Sorry, guys, I'm trying to find the right angle. There we go. A nice warg group. Why not? A log cabin. Let's go to the, the wolves of... Oh, yep, okay. The wolves of doom first, and then we'll see what we can do. Literally, literally just the three of them, huh? I am here. Challenge me. All right. Now, oh my. Uh. Huh. Don't retaliatory strike me, please. Well, I didn't see that going that badly, man. Oh, jeez. Oh. oh, really? Huh. Well, that's a thing that happened, I guess. Duggam's Quest. As you're about to settle down for dinner, there's a disturbance at the edge of your camp. You crane your neck and see an old man trying to force his way to your campfire. You wave to your men to allow him through. Who's in charge here? Uh, the man demands. That's me, you say, standing. Aurelius, King of Rezuln. There's more than a hint of annoyance in your voice. Rezuln, eh? Never heard of it. The man glares at you. It's Kier... It's Kier? Sure. Kier Duggam talking to you. Aurelius of Rezuln, I am king in my own way. You could say the village of Merland. And I could use the help of you and your soldiers here. The man's accent is so thick that you have trouble understanding him for a moment. Help, huh? Well, what's the problem? We got snow ogres, King. A couple of them settled in right near the river. Right where me and mine cast the nets out to fish. Can hardly do that safely now. We could use a few good swords to clear them out. What say you, Relias of Rezuln? You frown. Snow ogres, garrets, vicious and deadly creatures. Do not like to think of anyone at their mercy, and yet you have other tasks before you as well. Very well, Kier Duggam. We will rid you. Yeah, we got this. Hey, I've already done this. I am a superhero. Look at me like a boss. You bring Duggam proof that you've taken care of the snow ogres that were threatening his fishing grounds. Two of their hides scraped from the corpses. The old man takes them from you with a grunt. You're about to remind him that you risked your life on his behalf to suggest an expression of gratitude just might be in order. When from a hut behind, Duggam, a girl steps forward. Her hair is red and long, her eyes bright and shining green. My father, she says with a glare at Duggam, has a little experience with civilized uh, courtesies, my lord. Allow me to thank you on his behalf, and on behalf of all of Merland. Uh, mm? her, smiling, or her smile is dazzling. You return it, not thinking. You are quite welcome, my lady, she giggles. I am no lady, my lord. Darlia is my name. Would you... Shireen glances at you. We should be going, my lord. Allow me but an hour more of your time, Darlia says, and I will give you a proper reward. With Shireen offering a look that could pierce plate mail, the girl disappears into the hut with the two garrote hides. She returns shortly with a gift for you. A garrote cloak, my lord, she says. It'll keep you warm on the coldest of nights. Think of me when you wear it. 
What if your bed snorts out a laugh? Dugum frowns. Shireen. Darlia smiles suggestively. Suddenly, things become very uncomfortable. I, uh, you take the garment and you take your leave. Well, that's awkward and fun. Although traditionally made of the fur of a groat, it is the treatment of the groat's blood that provides the magic. Well, I'm curious. What magic is it? Oh, we have it. Oh, cold resist. And it gives us three defense. And we're still within our uh, penalty range. It's perfect. And we look cooler because we have a freaking cloak. Like, who wouldn't want a cloak? Let's be honest here. Cloaks are pretty much the best thing ever. Whoa, what is this? Carry on's men. Ooh, that could be a, a bit of a mess. What if we can fight them and win? I want to say maybe. Oh boy, there's a lot of them. We can't fight that army. Alright, what do they have? It looks like they have one archer. Ah, why not? Let's give it a shot. It says that they're weak compared to us. We'll see if that's actually true or not. Alright, I'm going to step forward with our boy Relius. I'm going to use not burning hands, even though that's what I selected. I'm going to use Flame Dot of Doom. And they resisted it, because of course they did. Because of course they did. Step forward. I think I will spawn some of the nature's calls. Hey, we got doggies. Foomp. And bam. That was decent. Dagger toss. They're all too far out of the range. What was that? Oh! The doggies took a pretty bad hit there. I'm not gonna lie, that looked kind of not good. Alright, foomp. Very nice. I think they'll survive once more. Speaking of once more, once more into the breach, my friends. Let's take a chunk out of... Never mind. Let's take a chunk out of these guys. It's a little underwhelming, not gonna lie. Need to target one of your champions or your sovereign. Ooh. I think we'll just pass. She won't have enough to kill him, will she? Oh, with a crit she will. With a crit she will have plenty. Alright. Good old good old Relius over here. I was going to say Rezzel, and I'm like, that's not right. That did very little damage. This probably isn't going to do a tremendous amount, but we'll give it a shot. 14. I'll take it, I guess. And we'll attack from this angle. Clink. Doggy dead. Spearman not digging life. What does this do? Fortify. Eh. Alright. Let's try to keep them kind of in line there. Uh, let's get the heal out. Okay. And... Foom. Eh. Still a tad underwhelming. Alright. I think I know what I want to do. I think I, she's going to attack these guys. And this dude's going to crush these guys. It's going to be, yeah. This guy's done. Gone. And, yeah, we'll move here. and We'll smack this guy upside his face. We'll smack him upside his face again. Or we'll miss. Because, of course, you know, missing. We'll move here and attack from there. And with finality, we can get one more heal out. We shall, and it's like Shireen gets to take them out. Boom, man, her crits are coming in big. Jeez, it's twice. It was so much. Speaking of which, we have more defenders now on the field, which is cool, I guess. If you're into that sort of thing. Alright, pretty sure we can't win that fight yet. 
also relatively sure that... Uh oh Fallen soldiers, Relius. Erkson, by the look of them, it is strange to see their kind this far north. Strange, you say. Shall we ask them what business they have here? Uh, nope. I don't plan to, anyway. Okay. So it looks like what we'll be doing now is backtracking. I'm sure there's multiple things that we need to get done. Eventually being able to fight them would be nice, but yeah, I can wait. I can wait a bit. Defender is under attack. Uh-oh. Can he run? Oh, that's unfortunate. I don't think he lives through this. Maybe. He is a defender. We shall defend our isle, whatever the cost may be. Wow, this dude's going to get so much experience. If he does survive, he should. He actually should win this. It's going to be a struggle, though. Or it's not going to be a struggle and we're going to be totally fine. Alright, pretty sure we want to actually just narrow it down a little. I, oh, nope, they can all still hit us. Oh no, one of our guys has fallen. That's actually weakened us significantly. Uh-oh. Oh no! Defend yourself, fool! Keep blocking. Block for all of the days of your life. Uh, uh, I believe. I believe. I still believe. I, I might not believe anymore. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Why? Oh, that's so depressing. That might be the most depressing thing I've ever witnessed in my life. Alright, that's not true, but it's definitely up there. It was horrible. That should never have happened. I am very unhappy. Well, I'm pretty sure we can win this fight. Come at me, buddy. Oh, what a what a what a what a turd fest. I, I don't even know what else to say. The dude did so well. Why did they give me such hope? And then dash it against the jagged teeth of reality. Ugh. Oh, why? Why, I will weep for weeks after that. Not really. I'm sure they'll feel pretty bad. They're like, yay, reinforce. Oh, I'm sad, yeah. Lord of the Butcherman, before you lie the ruins of a town among the shattered hulks of its buildings. Scores of Butchermen come and go. You have found their base, you realize. And, as it turns out, something else as well. Really is. Shrain steps up alongside you. I figure there. It is uh, Amha. Okay, Amha himself. He was once Padar to peoples of Antheros. It was at his command the warriors who became these butchermen were sacrificed. Where does she learn all of these things? You wonder if paying better attention to your tutor might have been a good idea. Their leader, you nod. So if we stop him, we stop the attacks. Well, so it seems. Still, it will be no easy task, Shireen says. Kurjan's curse not only animates his flesh, Kurjan's power flows through his veins. We must be wary. You nod and consider her words. If Shireen is cautious, that means this foe must be truly powerful. There is need to husband your strength, okay, and that of your army for the battle to come, yet butchermen are a threat, not just to you, but to all who dwell in these lands. Shrain looks to you, awaiting your decision. So these are the bastages that messed everything up. Well, I should thank them for killing everyone off so I could... So that you could break me out. Just, don't just run in there without permission. Well, we could attack them, or we could just murder some more butchermen and just get levels. That, that seems like the, the smarter play for now. I mean, I'm probably wrong. I'll probably regret it, but... I'm feeling okay. Yeah. 
All right, foomp. Nope, not enough. Eh, I would have thought. All right, he's dead now. Thudunk. I wonder why he's just chilling there. It seems odd to me, but eh, whatever. Attack, very nice. Oh. Get shot with an arrow. Wow, that did almost nothing. Are these butchermen stronger than the normal butchermen? I feel like they're not. Aha! Well, they were defensive, I suppose. I'm over here now. Line him up, knock him down. Boom. Down he goes. Alright. Smack, and do we get to end up with the big guy? We do. Get him, Nari. Alright, first try. Aurelius, I've checked our purse, and it seems we have quite a bit of gold saved up. Perhaps we should spend some of it on new equipment. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. Let's check let's check out the shop back in Rizzle. Eh or what the two means. Was there another army down here a second ago? I feel like there was. Well, I think we can take this. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna man up, I'm gonna take these guys. There's only six people. There I feel like there's more than six. Maybe there's six total. None of them seem super powerful, from what I can tell. We'll, we'll have to see as time progresses here. That's fine. Step forward and smack. Eh, why not conjure some puppies? Or a bear. I can get behind a bear. All right, big man says, good day, sir. All right, we're going to partner up with him. We'll step to you. And hopefully the defensive side of things will die down a little bit here. Don't worry, we have the ability to heal people. We will utilize that ability. It will be great. All right, the bear says, good day, sir. Ha, 16 crit. Well done, friend. All right, let's go ahead and toss the heal on to you. Oh, I suppose we'll focus on this one. Get him, Relius. That, that was underwhelming. Crush their souls. That was more underwhelming. Huh. Alright, big hit there. Bear hit here. Oh, double bear hit. Three bear hits. Four bear hits. What? I don't know what just happened, but I think I like everything about it. I'm not positive, though. I'm a little bit split on this. Alright. Down he goes. Archer time? Nope. This guy. Oh, he can do something. Let's see if he can't actually kill somebody. Yeah! Hammer to the face. What? And an arrow of three. And our gal gets her shot. Shireen. And the big man gets to take the big swing. Nope. The bear's like, I ah, still hungry. There we go. And splat. Alright, that was easy. Well, that was one army. Then there's another army. Hmm. Nah, why not? What could possibly go... Oh, there's a lot of them. One, two... Wait, what is this guy? 34? Yeah, why not? Let's give it a shot. Uh-oh. That seems less good than it did a second ago. Okay, so we're going to step here. We are going to use Fireball onto Ama or Amha, or whatever his name is in the back there. Amadama Hamalamala. We can hear the zombie moans. It's, it's fine. Yeah, let's go defensive styles. And foomp. He's having a bad day. Hopefully he never makes it to us. 
That's the plan. The dream, the goal, the hope. The, you get the idea. Alright, really is. What can you do, friend? Fireball scroll. That sounds like fun. I feel like we shouldn't be using them, though. And yet, it's gonna happen. Oh, well, they resisted most of it. It's fine. Go ahead, bring it. We don't even care. Oh, even with our clink, that didn't stop them. Uh oh. All right, we may care slightly. I'm just saying. <laughs> Alright, so archers. No, not archers, I'm sorry. Spearmen! Stab fools! That did not really do much for you. You, do this thing. Archer lady! Arch! He's moving up. Relius, slap. Relius, smash! Nari! Nari, smash! There you go, buddy. Yeah! Block that with your face. Nice. Okay, another one down. And more fun for the spearmen. Alright, we get to join in the fun too. Alright, spearmen took somebody out. That's good. I'm gonna step over here and be all like, Curse Splotchity! And, you know, we did do a little bit of the Curse Splotchity there. It's fine. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna smack him with a hammer because why not? We're there. Might as well. All right, other archer. One damage. Very underwhelming. New archer. Dodge. Very underwhelming once again. All right, what do we have? Well, our, one of our spearmen went down again. Ooh, that didn't feel good. He's dead. He's probably pretty dead relatively soon. This guy's done. Oh, he's not. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm getting worried. All right, let's make sure he goes down. There we go. Down he goes, and... Eh, why not throw a heal on Relius? Uh, let's take you down. Very good. And I think he's going to... Oh, oh, Relius has got to move. He's coming. He's got bread. He could be eating bread right now. You don't know. Three arrows to the back. We said good day, sir. Hey, we got the Sword of Wrath and the head of Amcha. Amcha. It's fine. You received the head of Amcha for defeating Amcha. The head is, gru is a gruesome reminder of the cost of attempting to appease the Titans. Plus 10% growth, plus one attacking for defending units. Select the city you would like to place the trophy in? Oh boy. That just sounds wonderful. He is at rest at last. Amcha and his creatures will trouble us no longer. At rest. <laughs> for all the suffering he has caused, I hope he burns in the outer realms for all of eternity. Well, that's, that's lovely. Thank you for that. All right, we'll just casually come over here and be all like, yeah, we have ourselves a town that we can't do anything with. All right, let's take a look. The Sword of Wrath requires level 6, level 4. But it's, oh, it's a two-handed sword. Ooh. Plus five hit points from kills, so it heals. Plus one counterattack per round, awesome. 30% ac cumulative damage with each successful attack. That's kind of a big deal. Like, that's actually legit. Well, good. I must enlighten uh, the dog. I don't usually do this, guys and gals, but it's going to happen. And tell her, Katie, Mama's home. And she's going to now scamper away. Yep, she just, I guess she just heard something and she went and barked and chased it down. And then she came back in, but I just heard... I heard the wife return, so I decided I'd let the dog know, and now she's a happy dog, for she loves her parental humans, I guess. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for, yeah, for this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I, I, had, a, I had a good time returning to Fallen Enchantress, 
And look for it sometime this weekend, guys and gals, the video that I had promised before the episode before last. And yeah, yeah, hopefully that'll go as well. Our archer should be done relatively soon. I'm not sure what else we need to do right this minute, but we're going to go to this crossroads. And this is going to be where it all ends. Until the very next episode, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will see you later. <laughs>